Well, we know it's Super Bowl 53 is tomorrow, and if you're still trying to figure out your menu for the game, we have an idea for you that's quick and delicious, and it smells good because it's filling up the <laughs> studio with all these wonderful scents. Joining us this morning, our friend Chef Rebecca Waldron with Bush's Fresh Food Market. Nice to see you as always. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to be here again. All right, so tell us what you're making. Okay, so this is a Thai-inspired slow cooker meatball. And so, you know, it's, it might seem, okay, there's a lot of ingredients involved, but you can make it ahead, mm -hmm. you can make it today, and you won't have any work to do tomorrow. All you have to do is heat it up and go. Oh, we so, like that. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So, okay. um, but we have to have some key ingredients. So, right. um, because it's Thai inspired, mm -hmm. there are some key flavors and aromatics that kind of have to go into this. One of them is shallots. So, shallots are similar to onions, but a little bit different. So, it's a little bit sharper, a little bit different flavor than an onion. Okay. So, shallots and fresh ginger. You can't mm. use the powdered stuff, you have to use fresh Nothing ginger. Nothing beats for this. a fresh ginger. So, what we've done is I've pureed some fresh ginger, and I didn't do that here because, you know, I wanted, yeah. didn't want to have to haul every appliance with me. Right. Um, but we have some fresh ginger, pureed shallot, some uh, sesame oil, a little bit of fish sauce in there. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of a nice aromatic paste. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to saute that in a little bit of oil. Now, mm -hmm. you can do this in a pan on your stove. I like using an instant pot because it has a saute feature. And oh, some nice. slow cookers do have a saute feature. Oh, okay. So you can just put it all in, in there. And pan. I, I don't think it's fair sometimes when yeah. you see a slow cooker recipe that involves other pans. It's right, just not fair. Right. So, right. <laughs> so if you have an instant pot, this works. So okay. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this paste okay. right and in there. Is there a particular kind of oil you like to use? I prefer for cases like this, I like to use grapeseed oil or canola oil because oh, okay. they have a higher smoke point. So you can get them up to a higher temperature without them burning or having an off flavor. Got it. Okay. So either one will work. So you can kind of smell already. Oh, you it can smells smell that incredible. fresh ginger. Oh, and there's also a pureed jalapeno in there. One jalapeno. So okay. it's not overly spicy. Got it. Um, but if you wanted to back off on that, you certainly could okay. take that out. And are they just equal parts for the ginger and the shallots? Yes. And the recipe is going to be posted on your website. Yeah. And that basically says one three inch piece of ginger. So there's a margin of error okay. there. Um, so we're just going to saute this for about a minute. Now, half of that spice paste, while we're watching this saute, mm -hmm. the other half of that spice here, paste, you oh, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Um, went into our turkey. So over here, we have some ground turkey. And I've mixed in our spice paste the other half of the spice paste, some panko breadcrumbs, okay. one egg, and some scallions, some chopped scallions. And so I think the best way to actually mix up meatballs mm -hmm. is to actually use your hands. Yeah. And it's not as... You gotta uh, get in there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, intimidating sometimes. So I like to keep pairs of gloves hanging around so that you can mix this easily without having to worry about getting your, you know, answering the phone when your hands are covered right. with raw turkey. Um, okay. So we're going to mix that up. And now that this is sauteed, what I'm going to do is, and that smells so nice it's right incredible. now. What we're going to do is we're going to add some rice vinegar and soy sauce okay. and water. So that's what's there. All so right. we're going to add that. Also going to add in there some brown sugar. And you could reduce all of these ingredients if you wanted to back off on the sugar or mm -hmm. if you like it to be spicier. You can always change that up. And a key ingredient here, this is the Thai Sweet chili sweet sauce. Chili sauce. So okay. this is kind of that sweet and sour component. All right, we just have about about a minute left, I yep, believe. Yep, absolutely. Okay. So that's going to um, cook down a little bit, and then the, it's gonna you're gonna put that on slow cook, and then what's gonna happen over here? You're gonna form your meatballs while that is in the slow cooker. Okay. You're gonna make your little meatballs, pop those in the oven, and cook those, and then about a half hour before you're ready to serve, you're gonna put your meatballs in your sauce. Oh, nice. And you're gonna have this beautiful, and then and they're just gonna hang off. out in yeah, that. Yeah, we're gonna finish it off with some peanuts and some oh cilantro. Oh my gosh, you guys look at this. And I like it because you can serve it as a banh mi sandwich or you can serve it as a lettuce wrap for people who want something a little lighter and a little bit more healthy. Oh, and look at the finished yeah. product over here so too. So we're gonna, yeah, I like It looks like they've got like a really nice glaze. Exactly, <laughs> a really nice glaze. And so we're just gonna scoop them. You oh can serve goodness. them in the pot or you can just scoop them out. Yeah. And what I like to do then is put a little bit of ground peanuts and some cilantro and lime juice on top. Oh, so delicious. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you can just stick a toothpick yes. in it and <laughs> you a can also up. do that, right? Yes. All right, Jeff. Revisited Thank the cocktail you. meatball. Thank you. Oh, I cannot wait to dig in. Hallie, I'm going to send it over to you. And of course, we're going to put this web uh, recipe on our website, wxyz.com.